In this video, I'll just be picking up where the looping video left off, but this time, slightly different topic, we're going to be talking about copy and pasting regions. So for the purposes of demonstrating this, the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of all these loops. So I've got all my original regions there. And then instead of looping the regions, I'm going to copy and paste them all instead. Um, now, it doesn't really matter in this scenario whether I loop or copy and paste. I'm just doing it in this way to show you sort of how the concept works in logic. So it's going to end up looking similar to how it did just before. But instead of loops, I'm going to have pasted regions. So duplicates of what I can already see here. And when I say copy and paste, that's just the same as any other program where you might copy and paste stuff. Um, we're literally going to be copy and pasting these regions across the project. So it's pretty simple. Um, there are a couple extra things that might be worth knowing as well when it comes to copy and pasting in Logic. And I'll go over them during the course of this video and or the next one. So initially, the way you might copy and paste something is by right clicking a region, go to edit, and then copy. Make sure the correct channel is highlighted and then put the playhead where you want your copied region to go. Right click and then paste. And there you go. Always quicker to use the key commands with this. So I would recommend instead of going into the menu here, highlight a region, press command and C on your keyboard to copy. And then to paste, press Command and V. And there you go. And then I can just do Command and V a few times. Now let's do the same to this one. So Command C to copy. Put the playhead in the position where you want to paste. Now watch to see what happens when I paste here. So it's gone onto the piano channel. And that's because I've still got the piano channel highlighted here. So to avoid that happening, just make sure you remember to have the right channel selected. Again, put the playhead to where you want to paste, then Command V. And you can see it's very quick. Um, get into the habit of using those key commands. They will speed up your workflow and it's just easier as well. So just to show you, I'll copy and paste the rest of these, just like I've done with the previous regions. And here I can copy and paste those both at the same time. No need to select the channel for those ones. So what I've essentially got here is exactly what I had at the start of the video. Um, but instead of looped regions, I've got the same regions copy and pasted. I've created duplicates of the original regions that I had. And sometimes that can be good because you can then make changes in any one of these regions. Um, in the previous videos on looping, I said to just be aware that when you loop something, you can't edit anything in the looped section. So if I delete these and just loop that, you can see that I can't make any edits to the looped notes. I can only make edits to the original region. And then when I make any edits in the original region, because it's looped, any changes I make here um, in the original region will automatically copy onto the rest of the loops. So you change the first region and it changes all of them. But if I've copy and pasted the regions instead, each region is separate from one another. So I could make edits in uh, this region, for example, and the edits will only affect this region. It won't affect all these other ones um, because they're all independent of one another. These chunks of MIDI are basically the same all across here, but if I wanted to have a little bit of musical variation going on somewhere along here, 
maybe a brief change of chord um, or note, I might opt to copy and paste instead of loop. Um, you've just got more freedom to tweak things. And also you can easily take things out, move them around. The regions almost become pieces of a sort of musical puzzle that you can rearrange and mess about with. If you're not going to tweak anything and you really just want straight repeats of a section, you might just do a loop or you could have a bit of a mix. So some regions copy and pasted and some looped. It's up to you. So that's just something to bear in mind when duplicating your music across the timeline. If I was working on a track like this, I might not necessarily lay it all out like this, um, but for the purposes of trying to clearly show how this tool works, this is just a good visual example of how to use copy and paste in Logic. In part two, I'll look at copy and pasting big chunks of a track, so copy and pasting a whole chorus or a verse, and I'll go over a couple other things that you can do.